I'm Belinda Abenshine. Welcome to Gardening for Hummingbirds. Wisconsin's only native hummingbird is the ruby-throated hummingbird. The males have a brilliant red throat, while the females have a white throat. You can attract them with a nectar feeder or plant tubular flowers. Track them on their migration through Journey North's website or Facebook page. They eat insects as well as follow the yellow-bellied sapsuckers. Put out your feeder in late April, early May are when the flowering crabs and lilacs are blooming. Keep that feeder clean if they don't arrive. That's the most important tip I can give you. They don't necessarily need the color red. They like it, but you can also use clear. They build their nests hovering in the eaves. Oftentimes you will see them collecting spider webs. They use tiny lichens along with the spider webs to build the nest that contains two eggs. Fledging usually occurs about three weeks after hatch date. Male ruby throats are extremely territorial and will vigorously defend food or nectar sources. They will often be found in a state of torpor or semi-hibernation where they sleep and lower their body temperature. They will migrate as early as late August to Central America. What are some annuals? Agastaki is a great one to plant. Here are several other varieties. In southeastern Wisconsin, we often sell it or consider it an annual. Petunias are a fabulous annual and a perennial favorite, as well as Calibrocoa. Lantana will attract them, as well as butterflies, and New Guinea impatiens work wonderful in the sun. Nipophia is a wonderful uh, variety, and Nicotiana are tobacco plant. If you have shade, fuchsia, or impatience. Salvia is another annual. Here are some true blues. And here are some typical reds. Royal red, saucy wine. Fay Chapel and saucy red will attract them with that beautiful red color. Sun Paracel Mandevia vine and Sun Paracel Pink Pretty. Great vines, as well as the firecracker vine. A stunning plant to add to your garden. Trumpet vines, the perennial favorite as far as vines are concerned, and late blooming. Honeysuckle vines, one of their favorites. Mobilia, as far as perennials, and penstemon, also known as beard tongue. Monarda, which is also known as bee balm, and your garden phlox. Hosta and columbine, beautiful blooms that bloom in the shade. Wygela, a fabulous shrub, lots of pretty colors to choose from. Clethra, hummingbirds love it. And flowering queens. Ah, and the butterfly bush. Three different varieties featured here, and you'll also attract butterflies. Late season, Rose of Sharon is a good bet. And thank you for visiting this video. If you like what you've seen, look for us 